In this example, um, we're going to look at a, a limit of sine of 1 over x as x approaches 0. Um, so the interesting thing about this function is that if you try to if you try to graph this on your calculator, um, in particular the uh, TI-83 or 84, um, it's not going to give you uh, the correct, it's not going to give you an accurate graph. Okay. Um, so the graph of this, it looks like the one that you see here in the image to the right. Okay. Um, so it's definitely, you see some oscillations going on here. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, to show that this limit doesn't exist, or we're going to use a table. Okay. All right. So, okay. So let's build our table. So I'm going to pick the x values in such a way uh, so that they're, they will be approaching zero. And at the same time, uh, we can evaluate, uh, easily evaluate these into our function. Okay. So our function. Okay, so our function being sine of 1 over x. Okay. So I'm going to start with 2 over pi. Okay, and then we have 2 over 3 pi. And then 2 over 5 pi. And then 2 over 7 pi. So by keeping the numerator, the numerator values the same, okay, in this case 2, and then we're slowly increasing the denominators. So overall, this is, right, so here x is approaching 0, okay, uh, particularly from the, uh, from the right side, okay. Okay, so if we plug these in, okay, uh, these are basically, we're just going to, we take the, reciprocal and then take the sine of those values okay so we have 2 over pi so taking the reciprocal of that okay we're going to have sine of pi over 2 and that's going to that's going to give us the value of 1 okay the next one will be sine of 3 pi over 2 so that's going to give us minus 1 the next one we have is sine 5 pi over 2 that's going to give us 1 and then sine of 7 pi over 2. Okay, and that's going to give us negative 1. So you can clearly see that these are oscillating, okay, between negative 1 and 1. Okay, oscillates between negative 1 and 1. Okay. So that's just a small snapshot of what's going on here uh, with this uh, with this function. Um, you can clearly see that from the from the graph here. Okay, you're getting value various values between minus one and one. They're just going back and forth. Okay, and and you're also getting values in between. Okay, of minus one and one. So clearly, okay, we can see that this limit, um, the limit of this function as x approaches zero, does not exist. Okay, so this is demonstrating a oscillating behavior. Okay, so therefore, the limit as x approaches 0, okay, for this function does not exist. Okay, it's not approaching a finite value. Okay, 